Okay. Am I fucking live? Is the world seeing me now? Am I making a fool of myself? Am I winning? Am I winning? That is a question that we must all ask. And if we don't ask that ourselves, then our parents will walk within the room and say, Are you winning, son? And or daughter, are you winning? Are you winning today? Today I feel like a loser. But I'm always a loser. And you're a loser too for watching this. Let's all be losers together. That That's the power. That's the power that we have as losers. Anyways. Alright. <clears throat> Here we are. As I mess with my OBS settings and cry to myself, make sure everything's working fine because I haven't done this in like, what, two and a half weeks? Like, not like off OBS. Anyways. So, we're back with Phoenix Wright. Haven't played this since, um,. Fucking September, I think. That, that was a while ago, and we la we left off on the last trial, like in the in the investigation stage or whatever. I don't. I didn't even do the trial yet. God damn it! This is going to be a long, long stream. I'm not ready for it. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Before I get started here, I just want to check a couple of things, make sure everything's running right. Because I'm highly paranoid when it comes to this type of shit. But at least it started at 10 o'clock like I said it would. So. <clears throat> Why the fuck? What is... What is with my glasses? I think I gotta wipe my glasses down. I just, I just fucking decked the shit out of my microphone. That was great. All right, cool. Off to a great start. Professional, amazing. Love it. Uh, fuck. Where the hell is? Where did I put that thing at? Oh my fucking god, where's the... The fucking cloth for my glasses. There's like a smudge in the middle of my glasses for some reason. I don't know why. Is that good? Let me see. Alright. Glasses are cleared. I can see again. I can see. I can fight. I'm no longer blind as a bat. Alright. So. Phoenix Wright. Where we last left off, I believe... Well, I know it was the last trial, and from my memory... I think what was happening was that, um, shit. Our client is the fucking district attorney, I think. And she's saying she committed a murder and tried to frame it on Edgeworth, I believe. But we, we all know that's bullshit. There's no possible way she can be a moiterer, right? She couldn't have committed moita. But for some reason, she's, she's, uh, she's, um, pleading guilty for it. So, she's probably being blackmailed or some bullshit. I don't know. Uh, Gumshoe got kicked off the fucking investigation. Apparently, some, uh, sheriff-ass-looking motherfuckers in charge. Uh, there's some diva who sells, uh, bento boxes? Or whatever? And... And she says she witnessed it all, because she went to go see her boyfriend. Uh, there's some lame-ass fucking, like, rookie cop. 
or security guard or something. I don't fucking know. Um. God damn it, it's been like two months. Two months since I touched this game. Holy shit. Alright. <clears throat> Let's click continue. Episode 5, Rise from the Ashes, Day 1, Investigation. Wait, what the fuck? Day 2, Trial form. What? Huh? How is, how is 1 Day 1 and 1 Day 2 where 1 has a longer playtime? Wait, what? I guess Day 1 of the Investigation? Like, Official Investigation? I don't know. I think this is... Well, this one has more playtime, so I'm assuming this is where I left off at. I'm assuming. Is this the right save file? I don't think this is the right save file. But it has more playtime on it. It's been two months since Maya's left the office. Two months without a single tri a trial. No, I definitely played through this. Till the day that girl showed up. February 22nd. Let me see. Okay, no, definitely. Yeah, okay, so, hold up. Definitely, um... What the hell? I'm so confused. Why does this one have more playtime? If that's not... If this is not where I left off, then why does this have more playtime? That's... weird. This is where I left off, because I remember... I remember doing all the, uh, investigation stuff. Huh. God damn it, my glasses are like fogging the fuck up. What is going on? I don't even have like the heat on in the house. I don't know why my glasses keep fogging up. That's pissing me off. All right. <clears throat> February 23rd, 9.34 a.m. District Court Defense Lobby number two. How did the invest uh, blah, 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 blah. How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Actually, you know what? Let me check, cause I don't remember what the fuck. It's been two months since this investigation. First of all, uh, it's my attorney's badge, Goodman's ID, Goodman, Goodman. Who? Who's Goodman? Oh, I think I met this guy. I, I, well, of course I met this guy, but I think I only talked to him once. I don't even- wait, I might not even talk to him at all. I think this is the guy who's getting framed, not Edgeworth, my bad. I think Edgeworth is the one who's, uh, who's prosecuting the district attorney, right? So... Alright. We have that. We have the King of Prosecutors trophies given to Edgeworth on prosecute. Uh... Alright, cool. It's broken, for some reason. Edgeworth's knife, his trusty knife, but with with blood on it, right? Wait, so who the fuck- hold up. Was Edgeworth framed, or was Goodman framed? I'm really trying to, like, piece this all together. Was Goodman the one that was killed? I think Goodman was the one that was killed. I can't- I can't remember. Uh, parking in prosecutor's office lot. Okay, it's just parking stub. Um, the mascot that Gumshoe made, fucking, it, it got fucked up. Or something. 
Death due to loss of blood, one knife wound, died within an hour. The men's op autopsy report. Wait. So I guess Goodman's checking the scene out along with the sheriff. Okay. Victim's memo found in the truck of the car, just a bunch of numbers. And property of Lana Sky. Last call made to her sister Emma. Lana Sky is our uh, our client right here. And that's all we have. All right. All right, totally not, Lisa. How, how's it hanging? What are we doing? <clears throat> How'd the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Frankly, my darling, I separate the colors from the whites. <laughs> Oops. Frankly, there's still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing's one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? A defense attorney should never believe their client. Huh? The defendant is called to the trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. What? Isn't that the point of the defense attorney? Like... I mean, I guess you mean on a personal matter, sure, but in terms of the case, you're supposed to make them innocent. Right? It's your job. It's shady as fuck, but it's your job. Miss Sky, you. You remind me a lot of Maya. But, not Maya, my bad. Mia. But there's one decisive difference between you and her. And that is, you're not a defense attorney. What is with your hand? I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. My first trial without a Faye helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. I've been sitting on this for two months. It's about damn time. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. You better be, not Maya. February 23rd, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number nine. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. As is the prosecution, Your Honor. Edgeworth. Motherfucker. I just solved your case, you piece of shit, and now you're against me? You asshole. You're, you're a son of a bitch. You couldn't sit this one out? It's been two months, but I haven't been in the courtroom since his trial. I hope that personal feelings will not be part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. Huh? How dare you. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me may say. The judgment to be made here is in your hands, not those of anyone else's. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Skye. Prosecutor, not DA. My bad. Chief Prosecutor. There we go. Chief Prosecutor Lana Skye has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only the- What the hell? Fucking, I'm- Right now I'm currently watching, uh, my brother's dog, and she's in the other room making a hell of a lot of noise. Not only this, but she was rushed through- Wait, what? She was rash enough to commit- She was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Wow. He's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. However, she will not pay for her rashness with her life. There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. Professional? How can you be a professional witness? Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edwards. Wait, what is that title, professional witness? Oh man, I've witnessed a lot of murders. I know a murder when I see one. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Starr, to the stand. I just like choked on my own words. The cough up queen. Hmm. Oh, her hat. Her hat is a nice little onigiri. Hmm. Haven't I seen you somewhere? You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Oh, caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. The judge is really wolfing it down. 
And for you, I have a Fiesta Bowl. Uh, thanks? Well, the witness, uh, will the witness say her name and profession? Ah, you, sir. Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is how everyone this is this is how everyone rave how why am I saying that this is why everyone raves about caviar it's so tasty it hurts I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapia wait what topica 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 it's hot in topica I don't know the word what the heck does pickled whatever the fuck taste like what the hell is that I don't even know what it is name profession now. Me? The name's Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running lunch lands these days. Wait, lunch land? Okay. Oh, the name of her business. Lunch land. Okay. Lunch land these days. Is that what you want me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. Hurry it up. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am professional. Huh? What exactly does that mean? That's what I'm asking. How the fuck are you a professional win- Are you a secret undercover cop? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. Okay, there you go. She was a first-rate homicide detective. What? Miss Star was a detective? Ah. I know who you are. Cough up. Cough up Queen Angel Star, Your Honor. Long time no seeing. That sounds super slutty. Cough up Queen. Don't, mm, that's not a good time. Nope. That don't, that don't sit well with me. Uh-uh. Very well. You may continue with your description, Miss Star. I love how Star is also spelt like a porn star's name. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. You may. The parking lot at the prosecutor's uh, bleh, bleh, at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for the visitor and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? The crime took place by the car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with the knife and went to, to drive the body out. Unfortunately, I, I just realized her keychain is like a little hot dog that they put in fucking... Not keychain, what I'm saying. Her little necklace thing is like a hot dog that they put in like the bento boxes. Make it look like a little octopus. Unfortunately, for her, uh, for her there was a witness... And an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. Parking lot floor plans. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright, uh, I can't argue on that principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Do you know me? I'm a loser. That's why I'm streaming. <laughs> Shall I proceed to crush what little hopes they have remaining? You're a jackass. If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. You're an asshole, too. Wait, are they talking about me? Ain't no way you're talking about me. Testimony. My dog is, like, moaning in his sleep. And he's so loud. Fucking animals. Witness account. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my, f my finely honed detective intuition at work. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to the garish car. So it's Goodman that she killed. Okay. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then, 
She thrust the pointy tip of the knight into Detective Goodman's chest. Hmm. Bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend, how touching. As you can see, there's no room for doubt. Excuse me, Edgeworth, you motherfucker. There's always room for doubt, you bitch. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife, which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I, I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. You're damn right I will. All right. Mm. First things first. I want to look... Uh, I don't want to present anything. Hold up. I just want to... Look at what I got. All right. ID card. Prosecutor's office crime scene. Give him an edge worth. Okay. A knife. Usually, as were Tupac's traces of the victim's blood, there's no prints on this knife. Okay? No prints on this knife. At all. That's probably important. Super important. According to the parking lot, uh, prosecutor's office lot, enter... Wait, what? According to the parking and the prosecutor's office lot, enter a lot of... Enter a lot? Why, why does it say it like that? Who entered the lot? Oh, Edgeworth entered the lot at that time. Okay. All right. Uh, death due to loss of blood, one knife wound. Okay. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Okay, what is... Fuck, okay, so Edgeworth came in an hour after of time of death. About an hour after. Don't know what the fuck that is. Let me see this. She saw from the wired side... Okay. Alright, well. Somehow I always knew this day would come. How did you know that? Fucking, you, what are you planning murder over here? Did you do it? She probably did it. On my way to deliver lunchbox to my boyfriend. Alright, what time was that? This boyfriend. He's the detective. Not that boyfriend, the security guard. How many boyfriends you have? That boyfriend? You have several? Yes. This boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other. She's just, mmm. No wonder she's called the cough-up queen. Goddamn. Care to join? Absolutely not. The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. I really hope you wash your hands while making that lunch. Note to self, the judge has to think before replying. The security guard room is in lot... Huh, it's in lot A. Okay. On the second level, so you can see everything from there. Alright. That would be the room with the security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunchbox by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I park in Block B. So she was in Block B. Alright. Just making sure, making sure she covered her bases. She's like, I'm here to deliver it to, to fucking Lot A. Which is like... But you say you saw it from Lot B. She's like, I parked in Lot B. Okay, cool. All right, just moving on, making sure. Wish you would have said the time you came, but you know. When I said something, perhaps, uh, finally, okay, finally home detective intuition. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Okay, let me press that real quick, cause that don't fit. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I said the blade was about four inches long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are by nature well-versed in the location of man's vital organs. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. Hmm, perhaps a chicken salad set would be better. As a metaphor. So the defendant was holding a knife. Then what? Alright, well, um, hmm, okay, well. 
You didn't get more information on that, and you're saying she's holding it in her right hand. I find that weird because there's no fingerprints on the damn thing. So, ch ch, -ch check it. Yeah. My bad, wrong button. How do I present? It's triangle. Ch ch, -ch check it. Your Honor, that statement contradicts the evidence. It does? It kind of does, but whatever. It's like... Okay. Ooh. Kinda does, but whatever. Just the pointy tip of the knife into his chest. Let's press that. Why didn't you try to stop the crime? You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Hmm. The defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late. Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. You can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Mrs. Starr's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is that it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the wetness a bit, shall we? Alright, for some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. It's creepy. Alright, well, let's press everything we got, then. How'd you know? I, I respect the prosecutor's basic ab adherence to, of crime, yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. Your lunch day's uniform's opinion is duly noted, given that they are used to erase the inconvenient evidence at their whim. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss Starr, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired? To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. That said, I'm a pro. As you know, my testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well. You may continue, Miss Starr. Okay. That was interesting. That was an interesting little tidbit. When I sensed something, perhaps it was finally honed. You sensed something. So you're saying you had a premonition of the murder. It felt like... How would you say? Oh yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin clock full of seeds. A pumpkin clock. Pumpkin chalk full of seeds. I have no idea what you mean. Speaking of a detective's intuition... Wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. Young cheese. A pale white cheese. Not yet, not yet, uh, tangy? 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 Tangy. I don't know. With experience on the streets and Greenhorn. Hmm. Then it must be hard, it must be hard, yellowed and sharp as a tack. Yeah, with the odor of an old cheese to match. In any case, there's, uh, there in the lot, I felt something staring, of uh, staring, stirring in the back of my mind. Through the wire fence, I saw a prosecutor standing next to the garish car. By a garish car, you mean... Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn second. It make no fucking sense, I'll tell you that for sure. The time of death is 4 p.m. Right? Which is about an hour after he was struck because he died due to blood loss. About an hour and a half. So you're telling me around 3, she attacked, you stopped her, and then you just sat there for an hour and a half till 4 which F Edgeworth's car wasn't there yet because he didn't show up until 5. What the hell? Incidentally, the knife the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's, wasn't it? Indeed, it was. Hmm, what are our cases is? And the person you saw, you sure was the defendant. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. 
Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Yeah, that's what I'm nitpicking right now. In your witness testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you're a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. I'll fry you like a fritter. A fritter? 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 Ugh. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Ice cream paint job. <laughs> that, that was inspiring. I believe I heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism. I may be, I may be, uh, re uh re re God. words. I may be relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Oh, shit. That's not good. The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap, I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with the camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. Witness. Why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again, bitch. My boyfriend works in the photograph division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. God damn it. This is staged. This is staged. She's being blackmailed. Makes no sense. So what was the defendant doing at the time? Chief Prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Oh my motherfucker. Ah, oh, shit. The moment of the crime as photographed by Angel Star. Alright. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Gumshoe's chest. Okay. Did I, did I, did I, um, did I press the last statement? I think I pressed the last statement. I'm not sure. Hold the knife in my right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip into his chest. Let me press that. Tell the court why you didn't try and stop the crime. You did see her raise the knife strike. No okay, yeah, no. I definitely did this. Too late, yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright, now, now it's time to, to do some thinking. Alright. On the way to deliver lunchbox, when I sense something, perhaps, home detective intuitions, the wire fence, I saw a prosecutor in the garage car. So, let me just make sure. This is for the day of the murder, right? What the hell is this? It's like a, there's like a date and like a locker, a locker number? What the hell is that? I don't even know. But I'm gonna use this, cause this is fun. Optatsy said, died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Okay, hold up. So he was stabbed. Wait, what? Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. So was he stabbed before 4 p.m. or after 4 p.m.? Was it 4 p.m. and then he died like a like an hour and a half after that? Okay. Well, anyhow, time of death at this point really don't matter because all we know we have a window, right? We don't know the exact time of death. We have a window. And now what matters is that you're telling me at the exact moment of the crime, the car was there, which it was not. Sorry, I thought I heard something for a moment. Alright. I'm gonna use this. I fucking, I pressed the X button. God damn it, my bad. Triangle. All right, well, that didn't work, surprisingly. Surprisingly, that didn't work. Must be on the wrong track. 
Must be on the wrong track. What do you mean, must be on the wrong track, you son of a bitch? The wire fence, I saw that garish car. Okay. Well, I then I'll use the autopsy then? Then I'll use the autopsy? Goodman's autopsy report. Come on, man. I there's like there's like two separate fucking contradictions I see, but I'm going the wrong way about it. The wire fence. I saw the garish car. So what else am I holding on to? Crime scene. Murder weapon. Last call made to her sister at at 15 on the day of the murder. 518 512 Alright, so she called her after the murder, but you said you fuck it. Wait, hold up. Chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointed knife into the tech goodman's chest. Okay. When I sent something, I was on my way to deliver. Which statement was the one where she fucking, where she said she instantly, like, apprehended her? Was it this one? Let me see. Was this the statement that she said it on, or was it... Certainly was her. Okay. Okay. Ahem, that's about right. Hmm. Then she thrust it. Which was the, uh... One of these fucking statements she said that she apprehended her, like, right then and there. Security guard room is in the lot of A block. On the second level, so you can't see anything from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't bring by car. Let me also look at the crime scene again. I'm just. She went to lot B. There's lot A. Here's a car. Huh. Okay, well, there's a wall that blocks that area, so you can't- so from the security room, you can't see there either. But she was through the fence, so at this point, that doesn't mean anything to us, so that's evidence for later. This... You can only- she's through the fence, there's a wall behind her, okay. You know, okay. I pressed the shit out of her, man. Like, is there is there nothing right now? Is there absolutely, like, nothing right now? Also, let me make sure, because I, I forgot how the checkpoint system works in this game, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna override a save real quick. 22 to... Oh, that's not... That's not hours played. That's just, I guess, time of day of playing? Yeah, definitely. Because 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, this would be about, like, okay. Um, let me, I pressed everything that I could press. All right, so it rotates, just making sure. All right. Why is this difficult for me? Well, 
was watching my phone, when I sense something, perhaps only find intuition. I'll press it again just to. Hmm. Goodman, it's like cheese. Okay. Well, she has a fucking. Alright. I'm gonna knife her right hand. My line of thought is completely wrong for some reason. Which, you know, I thought, thought it would be okay. Victim's memo. Maybe her cell phone would, would help. Let's see. Standing next to the garage car. Um, it has to be this one, right? Record of parking lot. Entered at 1512. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. So an hour and a half of me. Okay, never mind. You know what? The time window is an hour and a half of 4 p.m. So I guess that would be around like, you know, 530. Um, shit. Hmm. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife to his chest. Alright. Let me use the autopsy for that. Yeah, I felt like that would do nothing, but... Yeah, it's nothing. Ejection overruled. Damn, right off the bat. Right off the bat, I'm gonna fucking get a, a nice game over. Found of investigation. Let me see. Is there nothing here that says, uh... Name number written here. Sergeant. Only use numbers for IDs. What else should they use? Letters, silly. Okay, true. Okay. Let me get a closer look at, at said evidence, right? Victim's blood, just cut himself cutting an apple. This is what happens when you spend fucking two months in the middle of a goddamn trial, and you don't know what the hell's going on. Edgeworth, 17th day. the day of the crime. Murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. The murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth. Really? Huh. I thought... It was 12, so... 1721 fucking... Wait, what? I guess that lines up. Shit, I thought it'd be like. Hmm. Alright, well. Date and time of death between 4 p.m. 5.30, cause of death, loss of blood, assessment, wounds was caused by a 4.5 inch knife, a single stab wound was found. Okay. Check this. Boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know? Here, check on mine. It's pink princess. It's hard to come by, you know? Alright. Can I see the... The log for the phone? Isn't... Wasn't there a way to, like, view the phone's logs? There we go. There we go. 
There's no need to push this again. What's wrong? You look like you look like uh, you look like I do during finals. Never mind, it's nothing. Okay. Nothing else here. Like, I'm not trying to brute force any of this slide. Oh, hold up. B. Okay. Part your car, you saw. Hmm. Right. Okay. Goodman. 12-2. plate here. Name of all the previous res uh, res uh, recipients. Can't say that word. I don't know. I know the word, I just can't say it. One guy listed a bunch of times. Von Karma. <laughs> God damn it. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Von Karma. Yeah. What a jackass. What a jackass that guy was. Okay. Shit. Well. Damn it! I'm actually stuck here. Chief Prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. The wire fence saw a prosecutor standing to the nearest car. Let me press this, right? So you can see everything from there. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, uh, the floor plan she gave us to object that. Which does nothing! Even though, fucking, it shows that there's a wall between, and it contradicts the fact that she said you can see everything from up there. God damn it. There's multiple contradictions here. There's multiple contradictions here, but the game's just not on my thought wave, you know? It's not on my thought pattern. Alright. Let's continue. Because now is the time where I just brute force this shit. Prosecutor was holding a knife in right hand. It's on my way to deliver lunch box from my boyfriend. Fuck! Fuck! I'm gonna press this again. Just a... Alright. It's just like... Did I... Did I use the knife on this fucking... On this statement right here? Oh fuck, I keep pressing the wrong button. I used the knife on both those statements. The knife has no fingerprints. The knife has no fingerprints. Alright, well, shit. Sounds pretty fatal to me. 
Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Said press the witness a bit, I fucking pressed everything I could press. Is this another instance where I have to press in the right order? The method's ugly and twisted. Okay. She was fired. I pressed that one. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Hmm. Miss Edgeworth's car. It was. It was definitely her. Hold the knife in her hand. Suspect was carrying. Okay. Can you... Hmm. Yes, the next moment. Two brows secure, brought up murder weapon. Let's see. I probably have to press something in, like, the correct order. Which I really hate doing that. Well, this is one of those times where I gotta use my freebie and get me out of this situation. Because I'm at a loss here. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Case 5, day 1, trial. That's the investigation. Uh, day 2, trial former. Alright. Press her first and second statement. She will tell you the reason why she hates them. She's my lunch with her boyfriend. Now press the fourth statement because she was a visitor. Then the crime folder will be added, which I did. Oh, okay. All right, well, you know what? They got me. I will take an L on this one. Because I did not think this at all. I, I I was paying attention too much to everything else. I completely forgot that she said she took a photo at the moment of the murder, which the photo she presents doesn't depict her with a knife in her hand whatsoever. So that's my fault. I was so busy looking at times and dates and shit and the fact that the knife has zero fingerprints on it which nobody cares about for some reason but whatever and you witnessed this you saw miss sky stab the victim with the knife as i already said yes 
I swear it on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Or salmon, as people like to say. Hmm. I'm sure that's a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. This is the photograph you took of the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Oh, shit. Ahem. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. That had to be the weakest objection I've ever heard. Yet, it was still stronger than your even feeble m than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. That's pretty fucked up, coming from me saving your ass. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. See, that's what I fucking thought. It's like... It's like, well, this is the photo after she killed him and threw him in the trunk of the car. So, that's why I didn't want to use it. And how can you tell that? Blood splatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stains on that? Well, I can't see any dark crimson nothing because for some reason your photograph's in black and white. Even though we're in fucking, what, 2004? What is this game? 2004 this takes place? There was color cameras back then, bitch. Anyways, the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat. But it's a black and white photograph. Ah, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem, except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? I'm used to it. You got a better idea? Objection! Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. Slightly? Think, uh, think more obviously. My apologies. Please fix your testimony, bitch. That's it. If you run out of lunch, your order second. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo-sized lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understand it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold and calculated like a robot. She said, beep boop, and she stabbed him. She killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in the photograph. Well, those are gloves. Oh shit, damn it. That solves the no fingerprints. Hmm. Surgical gloves. Made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh, cause she has a cut on her hand? Jackass! If I was- if it was not premeditated, she would have not been wearing those gloves. Ugh. Maybe because she didn't want to touch any of the filthy things in that office. I don't know. Damn. These gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder. A serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The murder was planned! The rubber gloves prove it. Through the wire fence. Okay, so is that the extra sentence? Oh, so that's just the last one. Okay. That's the only thing that changed. All right. It was planned. How dare you? Okay. Well, let's press that. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like, driving gloves. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do moita. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Ah, shit. Impressive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She got them all thinking this was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show that it wasn't premeditated. Alright. Well. I'll tell you why it wasn't premeditated if I just knew what the fuck those voicemails said. 
or the call records. I don't remember what it said. Fucking... And I only got one hit left. This is probably a bad place to save, but, you know. You know. You know. You know. You know. Just, just save it. Just save it. Just save it. Just save it. I got one hit. You know? I have one hit. There's not much I can do about it. Except doing the whole thing over again. Gotta prove it wasn't premeditated. Hacha! The phone. And that that's not gonna work. So so just don't don't even look. Don't even forget that I even said it. Forget that I even said it. I don't know what's on those logs. It was premeditated. For fuck's sake. Alright. Well. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Victim's memo found a truck in the car. I mean, if it was premeditated, why would she let- uh, no, 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 no. Uh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> for fuck's sake, what's going on here? Jesus. Prove it wasn't premeditated. What the hell? God damn it. Fuck. Any any advice here, damn it? For some reason having her panic next to me. Okay, so there's no need to press anything. I just gotta prove that it wasn't premeditated. The cell phone doesn't do it. So fucking, uh, I guess it would be this. It has a date on it. What, what, what's the date of the murder? What's the date of the murder? Hold up. February 21st. This one has, I don't know what the fuck this has. What is this? What is this memo? What the hell is this? 675 December 2nd. What's December 2nd? What the hell does that mean? For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. <laughs> God damn it. Take that. You know what? Don't take that. Don't look at it. Just don't don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Don't even forget that I said anything. You know? You know, just spitballing here. Forget forget don't listen. Don't listen to me. I ain't say nothing. Nothing happened. At all. What I meant to say was this. Take that. Actually, I didn't mean to say that at all. You you misheard my words. I didn't mean to say anything at all. I didn't say anything, you know? I said nothing. Actually. <laughs> what the fuck? On the day of the murder. God damn it. Work of art designed by the chief of detectives. Created by Detective Gumshoe. It's not the phone. Premeditated. Let me see this shit. Looking at the gloves. Looking at the coat. Her arms all fucked. Well, her hands fucked. She has a cut on her hand. Can I? Can I not? Can I not like? I thought for some reason it would be like, Hey, Your Honor, let, let's see her, her hands. It has a cut on it. Maybe that's why she's wearing gloves. There's no, there's nothing I can do to like point to her and be like, Just show them the cut on your hand, damn it. That's the reason you're wearing gloves. It wasn't premeditated. You cut yourself the day before or some shit. I don't fucking know. Prove that it wasn't premeditated. Yeah, prove that it wasn't premeditated. How the fuck? At this point, I don't even think that I use any of these on that statement.
fuck's sake. Found at prosecutor's office, crime scene. I don't know. Check the... Check the... Yeah, fuck. God damn it! What do I do here? What do I actually do? I'm actually stumped on this. That's the worst part. The worst part is that I have zero idea what the fuck's going on here. Objection! The knife. Do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell lunchboxes for a living, you know? It... Huh? How how does the knife prove it? What? That was the last. That's the last thing I would go to. To prove that it wasn't premeditated, because they're saying it's premeditated because she has gloves on. Well, the knife has no fingerprints because she has gloves on. So how how it? I don't even. What the hell? Okay. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed. It is my it is my knife. How did you know it was in his trunk? Bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belong to the prosecutor there. The defendant is the chief prosecutor for the district, right? Mommy and prosecutors, bad people. <laughs> the defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder, and that why she was wearing these special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However, uh, my bad, I had a yawn. Why would she not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? Uh, I mean, I, like, again... If I was thinking that, if I was on their thinking point, uh, the reason I didn't choose the fucking knife is A, you say she's wearing gloves, so that's why there's no fingerprints on it, and B, if it was premeditated, she would know that Edgeworth carries it, everyone knows that Edgeworth carries the knife with him, and that he would, you know, have it somewhere in his vicinity, right? She probably knew it was in his car, if it was premeditated. I just happened to be in the trunk of the car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. I mean, if she knew beforehand, right? It seems like it's common knowledge that everyone knows that Edgeworth carries a fucking knife, so, I mean... That's... That's kind of a faulty contradictory, but whatever. Whatever, game. I'll play your, I'll play your game. You're f fucking me up here. Order! Order! Great, now the tide is turning in our favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister is as good as free. What the fuck are you up to? Right? I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. Bitch, that should be your lunch after I saved your ass. I hope you weren't diluting yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Not over such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in the whole pre uh, pre premeditated theory. Bah. Bah humbug. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is the lunch lady over there. Hmm. The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered the detective with a knife. That is the only thing that the prosecution needs to prove. Nothing else. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know, as well as I do, that she planned on killing him. It was planned. If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing? I believe I'd like to hear our tes her, your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. Ah, oh, how dare you. My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really, no. Okay. 
Lana Sky inter uh, in uh, attended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Did you see that? That's You're still going against what we asked in your testimony. I don't care what you thought. What the fuck did you see? Nothing else could drive that human machine to purge the knife again and again. Again and again? It's only one wound. Now you're on some bullshit. So if I order a pizza, does that mean I plan to kill the delivery boy? In any case, the defense may now cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? I shouldn't have to cross-examine shit. I'm so confident in this. I'm so confident in this that I'm just not even gonna fucking save before I even try. And if and if my thought if my thought pattern doesn't add up with this, then this game is doing some bullshit on this trial. I'm not gonna lie. Again and again. Let me just double check, triple check for sure, quadruple check. Fucking this. Check the autopsy. Date and time, cause of death, loss of love from chest wound. Okay, a single stab wound was found. This doesn't count. I don't know what the fuck this game is on. Thank you. You say she stabbed him again and again. But you couldn't have witnessed that. Are you testing me? No, I'm just calling you a fucking liar at this point. Then I'll test you. With my moss surprise. What the hell? I'm afraid the moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. She looks pissed. She looks serious. She's cute when she's serious. What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this. But take a look. Are you stealing my thunder, you bitch? The autopsy report states that the death was due to lost blood from one stab wound. Ah, you're right. Good show, Mr. Edgeworth. What a hunk, my hero, really. What about my objection? No one noticed. Well, witness? You got the crime sense set, right? Oh, thanks. I always believed that no one could ever mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. Splatter blood from the victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least twice. Then tell us what you saw that you thought. Wait, what? Tell us what you saw that you thought was blood. What did you see? Her red muffler looked like blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. Miss Star has turned out to be short, as short-tempered as she looked when we met her. Challenging her abilities as a detective really set her off. The short wick burn, burns. Uh, what? The short wick burns the fastest. It's a scientific fact. I wonder. Would it depend on the size of the candle? I mean, add more wax and even a really short wick will burn longer. Obviously, more scientific testing is required. Okay. Now. Now I'm gonna save over that, because I'm, I'm one hit away. I should have saved earlier when I had like a whole. Oops, let's not do that. When I had like a whole health bar. Alright, Lana Sky intended to murder a detective. That's why she called the victim all the way to prosecutor's offices. Prosecutor's. Okay. The muffler looked like blood to me. That's how ghastly the whole scene was. A red muffler. Yeah, like a scarf. The chief prosecutor always wears one around her neck, so she can be easily hanged at the moment's notice, I suppose. She's right. Miss Guy was wearing a red scarf, wasn't she? But wait. Isn't it odd that you mistook that for splattered blood? Yeah, one is a solid and one is a liquid. Well, people often mistake my beard I didn't ask for a bib. No one does that. A judge with a bib. That's why this place feels so much like kindergarten sometimes. Actually... I do think I saw some traces of blood on her chest. Where? However, the autopsy report is clear on the matter. There was only one knife wound. 
Apparently, Miss Star isn't entirely sure of her own testimony. Mr. Wright, this is our chance. Chance for what, I wonder? Miss Star has turned out to be as short tempered as she looked when we met her. Challenge her, her abilities. Okay, so just keep pressing like a motherfucker? Got it. You said that, but you know, but you haven't told us how you know. That's what I'm about to tell you, rookie. I believe what she just said was a mere prelude. Alright, whatever. Call me a rookie one more time, I'll hop over this fucking table. Never interrupt the storyteller, it's like pulling a bun out of an oven half-baked. Bitch, you're half-baked, how dare you. Try not to confuse the defense witness. Wait, what? The defense witness. Try not to confuse the defense witness. They're not very quick on their feet. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. He was talking about me. Fuck. Go fuck yourself, Edgeworth. Wow. I mean, he did prove me right, though. Now, why did you believe the suspect had intentions to murder the victim? That was the call of the victim all the way up. How, how do you know this? You have no proof of Miss Sky called him there. You have no proof that she didn't. Oh, yeah? You sure about that? There's no records of call made as on the defendant, Miss uh, Miss Lana Sky's phone. She might have written him a letter. Come on, you could have tried public phone first at least. In any case, the victim came to the prosecute. Wait, what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to repress this. I'm gonna have to press that statement again because I, I, I just gotta read that again for a moment. I just gotta read this again for a moment. I'm sorry. Okay. There is no record of a call made on the defendant, Miss Lana's phone. No record at all? She might have written him a letter. No record at all or no record to him? Because I thought they didn't find her phone at the fucking... Okay, whatever. What kind of grudge? Well, I wouldn't know that. Of course you don't. That's because she didn't have a grudge. Rookie? I have a lunchbox here. Now, what's inside? How am I supposed to know that? See? We agree there is no... There is a lunchbox here, but we don't know what's inside. A person's life is like a lunchbox with pretzels. Don't you agree? I get it. That's why my lunch was so salty. That's why I'm getting salty right now. This judge isn't very good at metaphors. The suspect had a, uh, the suspect had a grudge on Detective Goodman. Will you tell us your bias for thinking this? It's simple. The red muffler looked like blood to me. That's how it got away. It's simple. It's simple she had a grudge because her red muffler. Her doy. What the fuck? Okay, well, the only thing I can see right now is this. Which does nothing. Which does nothing because somehow they know her call history despite the fact that they couldn't find the phone at the scene. I had to sneak the phone off the scene because they didn't know it was there on the scene. So now they have a call record somehow. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. This game is, is like pulling, pulling teeth out. She had a grudge against him. Okay. So that, that gives me nothing. This told me that. This told me that she thought she saw blood. Right? She thought she saw blood. You know?
I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just so confused. <laughs> so, alright. I feel like I'm gonna have to press, like, another statement in order. Red muffler. Yep, like a scarf. Chief prosecutor always wears one. Eh, she is right about that. But wait, so I thought you mistook it for blood? Saw some traces of blood on her chest. Okay. Let me just pro- alright. this trial. Investigator <laughs> Carr found a prosecution office crime scene. Damn. Would she have a grudge on him? I thought this might prove against the grudge. I, I, this is the only thing I can think about someone would have a grudge about, but I guess not. Shit. Well. <clears throat> what the hell? So the phone, the phone didn't. Phone did nothing, right? Just, I'm just like, I'm just flabbergasted at what the hell I'm looking at here. Red muffler. I'm sorry, can I look at this photo again? She's not wearing a muffler in this. She's not wearing a muffler in the photo. I had to look at the photo again. Witness is clearly not suited for detective work. What? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you prove it yourself. With the photograph. Huh? But that... That can't be. Only a professional lunch lady could be so utterly clueless. Congratulations, perhaps you finally found out the true calling in life. Hmm. Harsh words, but good. In the end, Mr. Edgeworth prevails. What was my objection? Chopped liver? But it was there. A scarf. No, not that. But something red. Really? Well now. Where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude. Interlude? Yeah, interlude. But back to business. What? Very well, witness. Continue testimony. You saw the crime scene and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. 
Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabbed the victim. This next testimony might be the moment of truth. Alright. Alright. This game is giving me a fucking run for my money. After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a... Uh, what? Okay. Run behind a part... part uh, I can't even say the fucking word. Partition of her side. I quickly caught her, explaining her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. Ah, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. T prosecutor made the, uh... T prosecutor made to escape... Made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is futile. You're quite a determined... You're quite determined about the scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake, and I bite like a cobra. And then I get fucked up by the cobra like a mongoose. And I'm the mongoose, bitch. <laughs> That's me, Angel Star. The cough-up queen. That wasn't a very good metaphor. First of all, a cobra is kind of a snake. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten. No, I don't want to get bitten by anyone called the cough-up queen. Note to self, Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. So is everyone. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. An oil drum? Hard to imagine. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Roar. Meow. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you will. Of course I will. Why not? After I save this is a fucking game, because it's killing me on the inside. It's killing me that I got one fuck. It's killing me that there's no way to get, like, a health pit back. And there's no, like, clear checkpoints. Alright, after the murder, the suspect attempt to run behind... Alright, well first, let's just press everything we can. So, where's this partition of the floor plans? I'm sure this means this wall next to the car. That's right. There's a wall there, about six feet high. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. And, and what did you do then? I quickly caught her, explaining her rights to her. Yeah, because there was a fence, and either A, you hopped over the fence, or B, you ran all the way around the fucking building to get to the other side of the parking lot. She could have been escaped. You say quickly, uh, were you close to the suspect? As I just said, I was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm, maybe I should press her for more details. No, 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 keep pressing her, because there's a fucking fence between you. I'd like to see this on the floor plans, just so it would be safe. You got a fence between you. Lunch lady car was... Here. She was a visitor, thus, she was parked in a B block. So you witnessed the murder from here. That would make it about 30 feet from the car, yes? That is correct, Miss Star. Yes, that's right. But... There was a chain-linked fence in front of you. I went over it, of course. Amazing. The cough-up queen. Lunch lady athlete, indeed. It would have taken her a little time to climb over the fence. So she couldn't have gotten to my sister that fast. Exactly. Yeah, the fence was about nine feet, uh, about nine feet high, too. So how did Miss Sky not get away? That's what I'm saying. Ah, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. What the fuck? What, what is going on here? Okay. She mentioned the muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remember exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Yeah, because when I get arrested, the first thing I would say is, My scarf! It's red! Make sure you know that my scarf is red! Anyways, all I heard was her say the word, Muffler! But she didn't say a color of the muffler. Just that one word? So, was here wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else. Yes, the chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone? She can't mean... Ask further, of course. Nothing's wrong with asking a question. By phone, do you mean the cell phone discovered at the scene of crime? 
Yes, ultimately. Ultimately. My memory. It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see? No, the court doesn't see, Miss Star. So what you're telling me is that your testimony is phony and there's no reason we should be listening to you. Chief Prosecutor first attempts to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently it was out of order. Yes, because when I'm caught by a murder, the first thing I do is run towards the payphone and not run away. And so, she used her cell phone. Indeed, the emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm. Good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing. What's ever happened to a good testify? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. The thing I do to please the rookie defense attorney. Uh, the things I do to please the rookie defense attorney. Oh, fuck yourself. Can I point out that I saved the prosecutor's ass and I also fucking put put the fucking prosecutor that won Prosecutor of the Year award multiple years in a row, I, I fucking put that motherfucker in jail? Can we not get any props on that? Can I can I not have that? Also, I, I put a political blackmailing piece of shit in jail too. Come on, give me some credit. Call me a rookie. I've been doing this for months. If I saw it all, I was, uh, fuck it. I'm just, I'm just safe because I don't want to. Because when I fail, I don't want to have to press her on that shit again. Okay, how to try the phone on the wall? How to use her cell? <sighs> That's another draw. She used her cell instead. She prosecutor made to escape. Made to escape, but again, Angela started resistance for the title. Press that. Um, then you can restate your testimony for the court. Aha, I was going to ask the same thing. I only said this one time, so listen close, rookies. <clears throat> the chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the, the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. How do you know? There's a wall in front of you. How do you know that she went to call on the phone if you can't see her? So she pulled out her own cell all behind the wall where you can't see her. How do you know this? And during that time, you climbed over the chain length fence. When I boldly grabbed her arm, Chief Prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this? What is it, Mr. Wright? There's a fucking wall! <laughs> what do you mean? I saw it all. On, on the wall. I saw it. I saw it all. You ain't seen shit. Stop lying to me. Stop lying to me. Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying to the prosecutor? Why are you lying to the judge? Why are you lying to the courtroom? What's wrong with you? Miss Star, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. You're kind of fucked up. I swear to God, I'm going to hop over this table, Edgeworth. If you keep stealing my thunder, I'm going to cold cock the shit out of you. The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is un unmarred by personal bias. Well, who would have thought you would be my knight in shining armor prosecutor? Who would? Together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I, I read that wrong. You, who together with the chief prosecutor kicked me out two years ago. Well, Miss Star, this is fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. I... I don't... I... I don't know how that, how that works. <clears throat> Let's look at the floor plans. You say you witnessed the crime from this point, yeah? However, if it's true, you must got some fucking x-ray vision or some shit. You couldn't possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. I believe you see where I'm getting at. That emergency phone was on the back side of this partition. If indeed you were in B block, you wouldn't have seen it. What? What? 
Order. Order. What's the meaning of this? I'll tell you what the meaning of this is. Simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. I mean, just keep it all in. Don't cough anything up. It's gross. What are you, a fucking bird? That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you will allow me a question. Go ahead, bitch. Tell us exactly what lies this witness been telling to the court. Here's where counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. I actually cannot afford to get this wrong because my 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 life is at one pit. What she saw, where she saw it, the order of the events. She's lying about where she was at. Bam! This guy tried to use an emergency phone call, but it was out of order. What is significant about that fact? Nothing. Therefore, it would be pointless for Miss Star to lie about it. Pointless to lie? I see. But, say the witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. It would mean... Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. A different location? Now that's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Oh yeah, bitch. Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? All the testimonies we heard until now points in one direction. And not that shitty music band where one of the guys went off to start his own bullshit. She was here! She did it, your honor. From, from around here. I really hope I don't fuck this up. But from around here. She was here. She could see the emergency phone. That's true. That solves the mystery. That would allow her to see the emergency phone, yes. But if she was there, she would have been able to arrest her well before the uh well before she dialed her cell phone. Okay. Doubt my speed. I can run 100 and f 105 feet in nine seconds, you know. <laughs> She's pulling a SpongeBob right now. Hey, wanna see me run there and back? Want wanna see me do it again? Is that, is that really that fast? Not as fast as your witty, wait, what, did I get hit? That's enough. This course sees no reason to, the defense have failed to give a course of, what? Find defendants, but last guy, guilty. Did I get the wrong one? Did I get the wrong one? No, you can't do this to me. That is all, court is adjourned. Listen, if I got it wrong, tell me I got it wrong. Don't don't hype me up with the music, all right? I felt like I was in the right spot. I was choosing between either that spot or the security spot. Okay? Okay? Now I gotta do it all over again. <laughs> Shit. Now, now I gotta do it all over again. I don't need it. I was, I was in the zone. I was in the auto zone. I don't even remember what the fuck I was doing. Way to, way to fuck up my momentum game by making me believe that I had it right. Let's just get back there, slowly. Simple, your honor. She's a liar. I don't know what the skip button is. What is the skip button? Oh, not that button, I'll tell you that. Actually, let me see. Uh, full auto skip, single box skip. Oh, it's a circle button. But I can't skip, uh, I think I... Okay, there we go. Lying about where she saw it. Alright. She saw it from... Con consider let let's say that the... I assume that the wall went all the way to the roof, but let's say it didn't go all the way to the roof. Let's say she was here. In her early testimony, she said, you can see everything from here. 
This is the only place where she could have seen it. The security guard room? Indeed, the security guard room in the underground parking lot is well positioned. It's built on the second floor so you can see... Oh, so the wall doesn't go all the way to the... Okay, alright. I thought... I thought. Alright. It's built on the second floor so you can see the entire lot. She would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime, uh, in back of the... The only way she could have seen the crime in the back of the partition is here. I remember your testimony you said. You brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security guard room, yes? Well, Miss Star? How many years have I been getting the... How many years have I been getting the better of men? To think that the tables could have turned. Today a man has got the better of Angel Star. Order. Order. Witness. What have you done? You used this to be used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty? Is she talking about Miss Sky? Uh, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense. Uh, she could have just said that she saw the crime from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. The truth still stands. It still stands. I disagree, Edgeworth. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of, uh, perjury. Perjury? How, that, that's how you say it? Perjury. She knows this. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So, tell us what your reason was, Mr. Uh, tell her what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Uh, me? Who else? Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Yes? But she lied and says she saw him from Block B. It must make a vital difference, but what could it change? Angle of view of the crime, distance of the crime, difference in lighting. And first of all, so I don't have to repeat all that shit no more. Right? I'm gonna say distance to the crime. To tamper with it and shit. It changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. My condolences, Mr. Wright, but one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change... How that... Uh, I don't see... I don't see how that would change what she could see. Not what she can see, but how she can get there. What she saw is not in question here. What matters is the time it took for her to reach the scene of the crime. Huh? Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take for you to get there? To the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Sky? Well, witness, you know. Yes. You ordered the squid wheels, right? The quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. It was bringing a P uh, I was bringing a PB&J lunch with fresh boy boysenberry. For some reason, I couldn't say say the word. The fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Boysenberry for the boyfriend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass wall station. And before I knew it, I was I was doing. Uh, before I knew what I was doing. I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. So you ran all the fuck the way around like I said. That's why I had to go through the visitor parking <laughs> the visitor parking in B block. It's quite a detour. So just like I said. Just like I said, either A, you hop the fence, 
or B, you fucking ran all the way around the building. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five minutes? Sheesh. Hmm. This changes things considerably. But it was the woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have a photograph. I have photograph evidence. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic spork. You have a point, and the spork is a wonderful invention. Eh, depends. Try eating spaghetti with a, with a spork. You look like a fucking animal. Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Are you bribing the fucking... Really? You're bribing the judge? Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Do I have any evidence to stop this? Do I have any evidence to stop this? Honestly? Let's see. Let's see. So it took her five minutes to get there. Uh. Uh. The word muffler was overheard during a call made. Oh, it changed. Okay. 518, 512, 512, 518, that's uh, what is that, 6-minute difference? Don't know why I'm, why I'm, have, why I'm blanking here, of course it's 6 minutes. Wait, okay, so assuming that... I guess that would make sense, yeah, within like a five, you know, six, five minutes, you can hear the word coming, coming up. That means you would also, wait, what? That means, wait, five minutes. Five minutes after fucking, five minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If it took you five minutes to get there, then that would mean that it took her one minute to do the murder? Like, just flat out? Uh, okay, hold up. Raise an objection. Something doesn't fit with the times. Five minutes between the witness of the murder and the arrest? Think about it. You can make pasta in that amount of time. If you like, if you like it al dente. I've got lunchboxes that tie pasta into knots, rookie. A five-minute blink? Isn't that strange? Strange. If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, Your Honor? Probably run the fuck away or take evidence. Well, I guess I'll flee the scene. I'd, I'd be fucking out of there. I'd be gone. Don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't. I didn't say you did. But you have you have the instincts of a killer. You would run, but this time was different. Miss Guy dwaddled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's inconceivable. Well then, it seems we come to the end of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blank in her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, next witness ready to go? Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness. Uh, on account of her professional history. Oh, shit. That was my alarm for my job, and I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> uh, we did it! We screwed- we screwed the- uh, we, that, 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 that. we screwed that shut, Mr. Wright! That was way too close. Way too close. I was wrong half the damn time. I'm afraid that the cough-up queen has been dethroned. And with that- uh, don't say that. Oh, the cough up queen. God. And with that, court is adjourned. She has. Uh, by who? Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? That's the one she tried to, to faust off on me. I prefer to not take the d defendant's team leftovers. Anything else to say? I might be able to save you. I have to say I have decisive evidence. What was that? 
Is this another one of the another one of her tricks? Trick lunch boxes? My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask you, Miss Star. Ah. Uh, is this your jumbo lunchbox? Whoa, a triple decker. Are you bribing him? Out of defense, <laughs> out of difference to the witness uh, determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Son of a bitch. How come I can't butter up the judge like this? Everyone else can do it besides me. Judge, do you not like me? Have you not seen me light fire in this courtroom before? God damn it. Let's hear about this decisive evidence. Like the lunch lamb motto says, you won't be disappointed. What's she going to pull out of her lunchbox this time? Decisive evidence. What we got? I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? Two types of blood were found on the shoe. One was, the course, uh, of course, the victim's, and the other blood type matched that of the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Okay, it matched her blood type, but is it her blood? I find it, I find it weird. I find it fucking weird that you can tell that the blood is definitely, uh, it's definitely the victim's, but you, you can't tell that the blood is the, what? The shoe proves it. It's flawless. Decisive evidence. What the fuck is going on here? What? There was a bl there was blood found on the shoe. Try lunch land for all your lunch and dis uh, decisive evidence needs. Also, was she withholding evidence? Would she go to jail for this shit? Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Why do you have it? Simple. I've already said. I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. Eh, yeah, she's the coffee queen. In any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Ashworth sure is celebrating. Not so fast, Mr. Ashworth. Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a number of the forensics department. By number, by the member. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Ah, oh, fuck. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Edgeworth's looking pretty sullen. Could at least study some evidence law, really. Prosecution com complaints, uh, n not, th 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 blah. notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. You're like guilty of, you're guilty of a bunch of things right now, lady. You shouldn't really be saying that. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I mean, cross-examine the fucking witness. Cross-examine the witness, because I gotta eat my lunch. Mommy didn't pack my fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich today, so I gotta fucking... I gotta vulture off the goddamn lunch lady. Call the cough-up queen. She better have washed her fucking hands while you're chowing down on that caviar, bitch. <laughs> I s going off on the fucking judge for no reason. Should have mentioned those five minutes. Okay. One, of course, was the victims, and the other blood type matched that of the defendant. Okay. The other blood type. It doesn't say that it's her DNA. You said it's her blood type. The fuck does that mean? 
You can't say for sure that the blood belongs to the defendant with the blood test? You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie. Uh, I assume? We'll speak up. Uh, well, blood comes in four types, A, B, O, and A, B. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether murder was committed in cold blood. That was not a pun, fuck off. That's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, we can differ uh, dif uh, differentiate between millions of types with all blood tests out there. Yeah, I know that. I'm saying you guys verified that the blood was from the victim, but you can't verify that the blood was from the defendant. You can only verify that it's the same blood type as the defendant. That's the point I'm getting at here. Which means that we can do more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Or so I hear. That's pretty specific. If I had a little more time, I would not have gotten DNA test results. Okay. You would have gotten DNA. My bad. I had it not in there for some reason. She would have gotten DNA results. Okay. If she had more time. Alright. Now that answers my question. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Long. Who gives a fuck? You still do it. So the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties her directly to the death of Detective. G no, no, it still doesn't. It's not. It's her blood type. Anyone can share the same blood type. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Oh my god. Flawless, decisive evidence. Ha. <sighs> um I'm no I'm no scholar, right? But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure even in a black and white photo, which you can obviously see the white coat that she's wearing, that the shoes would not come out a darker color. So that's a different shoe. That's a different shoe. That's not her shoe. Let me just see what statement. Now it matters, victim. Oh. It's the victim's shoe. Okay, it's not her shoe. Alright. But. Okay, even if it is the victim's shoe, she wasn't. She wasn't bleeding on the scene. At least from what I can see in that in that picture. So I'm just gonna. It's either that one or maybe or maybe this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one with the photo because she's not bleeding. Okay, well, that didn't count. That didn't count. Well, but in the picture, she's not bleeding, so... Yeah, there you go. It was either one or, one or two of those statements. She's not bleeding in the fucking picture, so the second blood couldn't belong to her, you know? second blood splatter, or type of blood. Fortunately for you, the shoe is far from being perfect evidence. What? This shoe directly contradicts what we know about the crime. The shoe doesn't fit. Bitch. Get the fuck off the stand. Order. You're claiming there's a contradiction with the shoe? As I said, the shoe doesn't fit when we know about the scene of the crime. Very well, let's hear... Mr. Wright has to say about the shoe. 
What about the shoe contradicts what we know about the crime? Show us the problem with this evidence. The problem with this evidence is the... Well, I don't. I'm assuming this is the victim's blood, right? And I'm assuming this is the blood that she's talking about. So I'm just gonna click on that. The problem with the evidence is here. Where? Take that finger and point it at your own head, Mr. Wright. Alright, well, fuck you guys. Did I not? Huh. Huh. I guess I just didn't, like, select the right area. It sucks being one hit away. Uh, what did I do? I did this. My bad. Hey, you know what? Can I... Can I actually check it right now while I'm doing this? Okay, cool. I just wanna... There's blood here, too. On the sole of the shoe, it's gotta be the victim's blood. Must have stepped in a puddle of his own blood. Well, blood is horrible. Might be an important clue. Okay. This blood, sisters, right? Pure so. Gotta cut herself at the scene of the crime. Okay. I mean, I clicked on this before, and then they went where? So I guess maybe this is the one. I assume it would be her blood, or what they assume is her blood. Because there's no DNA evidence tying to it. You just have a blood type match. Which is nothing! So I guess I'll just click on this. The problem lies in the footprint. The footprint? <coughs> Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. What's that smell? It's blood. Then, uh, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? That too. I wasn't thinking about that. You know, I was just assuming that he died in a pool of his own blood. And that, you know, that can get to the bottom of the shoe. But, uh... But yeah, sure, why not? Ah... Uh, as you can see, there were no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. This picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been uh, there couldn't have been any bloody footprints. There could be any bloody footprints. Every whatever. I I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> then where are they, Mr. Edgeworth? Because we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. Eh, hey, what's up? You tell me the custodian came by and mopped it up, bitch? Well, witness? What? Uh, I, am. Um, great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of footprints is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't any footprint. Oh. That's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't any footprints. Think, Mr. Wright. Think. Yeah. I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? What the hell you want, Edgeworth? I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more dis uh, more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped! Then it was one vile hint to the truth in her testimony. What are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. Okay. She prosecuted to try to resist, but her efforts were in vain. Yeah, she kicked over the oil drum. Okay. So it fucked up the- what are you telling me? Oil spilled and it fucked up the crime scene? Knocked over her hand so I kicked over the oil drum. Oh. Okay. Cleaned the oil when we got there. I thought that was a strange thing for a normal cool-headed chief to do. No kidding. Now, witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that? Uh, I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. 
Witness, well, was the Joel empty? It was the Joel? Was the Joel? Yeah, that's a new word. Was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the cheap prosecutor was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? That means it washed away the blood, goddammit. Still don't get it, Mr. Wright? Do you want to know the reason she kicked it over? The real reason? You don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over the oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. To erase the bloodstains that would become evidence against her. What? How dare you? The lies... Uh, the lies... Ah, fuck. That ties things up quite a bit. Bloodstains left on the victim's shoe ties her quite clearly to the murder. Then, after the dead was done, after dead, after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. That's... hmm. That's... that still doesn't make sense. So you're telling me she got rid of the blood on the floor, but she still kept wearing the coat? Why not just dump that in the water, too? Why not just throw that out? Alright. Well, that's the prosecutor's specialty, erasing evidence. That reminds me. Miss Sky's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? But she was wearing gloves. So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Wright, do something, please. Wait, wait, hold up. What can I do? My sister has con confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. But, enough. There's no need for further debate. The verdict, Your Honor? Very well. But Angel Star's the one, uh, the one on the prosecution side. She could have been lying about the water. The score finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Not guilty. Little girl, what did you just say? Oh, shit. Oh, let me take a sip of my water for this. Oh, you pushed her buttons. Huh? Me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Well, yeah, you are. You say my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints? Well... I thought you heard. I thought you had your uh, your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called evidence. What? Witness, don't tell me you have something else. The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments, and you will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare the cough up queen. Look at this. A photograph. At what point did you have the time to do that? Okay. I had it just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm? I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. Wright. Uh, looks, uh, fuck. Wait, look at the af- look at the asphalt in this photo. I have no idea what that word means. Hey, it's clearly wet. He's clearly wet. Wait, what? It's clearly wet. What are you talking about? The asphalt. What? I have no idea what that means. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it seems this is what your sister wanted anyways. I'm sorry, Mia. Right, what or not? Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Get yourself up off the ass- uh, off the out. what? God. <clears throat> Get yourself up off the asphalt. Take another good look. Don't give up. Not until the bitter end. 
Ah, oh, shit. This last piece of evidence. Uh, very well, it's time I'd like to declare a verdict for good. No, you won't. Objection, bitch. Your Honor, wait. What's with you people? Can I ha can I hand down my verdict in peace anymore? No, you you should have lost that right long time ago. You're just you just got bribed. Not once, not twice, but three times. Whatever it is, can it wait? Oh uh, no, it can't. But then it will be too late. Look at the photograph. Uh, look at the photograph. The last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each uh, each piece of evidence a proper contradiction. So right. Are you saying there's a problem with the la latest piece of evidence? Yeah, bitch! I think, I'll think later. Yeah, there's a problem. Right or wrong, I gotta go ahead with this. I suppose since we come this far, we should give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the court the problem with the photograph. I'll show you the problem. I'll show it. I'll show it. I'll show the problem. Problem is... Problem is... Problem is... What the hell is this? Huh? This may not be anything... But I have to try. The problem is this photograph is here. What's this? There's something poking out of the card muffler. Wait just a moment, Mr. Edgeworth. Your Honor? You just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf of any kind in this photograph. A muffler is also part of a car or motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. I see. And I see. What's that suspicious looking claw sticking out of the car's muffler? So... What if there was something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Objection! Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you've already told us why this is so important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has on his mind. Tell us why you're thinking this piece of cloth in the muffler is related to the case. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh... Cause the phone. Hot shot it cha. Take that. Miss Star, recall your testimony for the court. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's what I had that's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. Muffler. Ah, shit. Could it be that the muffler you heard you heard mentioned was actually this exhaust pipe? If so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Well. It seems we have to suspend the proceedings. You're damn right. Sus. That's suspects. Does he call me suspect? Bitch, I was in electrical. What are you talking about? I find myself wondering about the piece of cloth. If we leave any questions unanswered here, unanswered here, we do, uh, we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until after I've seen all evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. Phew! That was a close one. But we made it, at least for now. This course will adjourn for a 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. You still hungry? What a bitch. Okay, so we have a 30 minute recess to go and get the fucking muffler. Now we can have a proper save point. God damn it. Having one pip of health does not do good for my heart.
February 23rd, 11.56 a.m. District Court Defendant's Lobby Number 2. Uh, Mr. Wright? What? Are trials always like this with you? Absolutely. Like you're swimming up from the bottom of the lake about to reach the surface. But no matter how hard you pedal, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. Except today, we're swimming in quicksand. That's what happened to your sister anyways. Apparently, she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm, probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn the trials around, right? Ugh, I had another yawn. Our only weapon, a tiny and significant piece of cloth. I'm the one who started to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell you the truth. Hola, partner. They say you show a red claw to a bull, he'll fire up his temper. That's what they told me when I saw a youngin, at least. Oh, uh, when I saw? When I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshall. Thought I'd come take a look, see how the trial's going. It'll look like I'm late. They got the home ranch locked down tighter than the fort in enemy territory. I forgot that he shaves himself with a fucking knife. It's hard to slip out, huh? It's gonna be over there, anyways. All the police have seen these. All the police have seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you go? Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's tasting mufflers, for example. Hmm? Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. Are you drinking on the job, you bitch? You don't say. Now don't that just, uh... Now don't that just beat all. What? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many times. I saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the war ceremony that afternoon, as we're seeing it too late, I reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So Bistar wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner? Uh, something you gotta grab the bull by the horn. Something? Sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. Sometimes you just gotta let the bull go where it will. Time will tell. I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? Uh, tsh, we're looking for a hay and a needle stack. If it's steak, if it's steak sauce, so uh, fuck. If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Yeehaw. All right. After our recess, I'm pretty sure Edgeworth has more fucking evidence. What a bitch. I like to resume. I like to fucking. I like to kill myself now. What? Uh, what's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Why are you eyeing him? Something wrong, Edgeworth? Your, fa your face is blue. Your lips are purple. You're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow. Those grind. Those grinding teeth. Those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over. Your back is bent. It can't be. This can't be happening. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Well then, I believe it's time we continued on with the trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution con conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable. Um, it seems our prosecutor is quite besides himself. Uh, excuse me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who the fuck are you? Who's with this guy? Why does he look like Gabora Gabora? A strange, stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Who on earth is he? Is he Edgeworth's dad or something? Ah, it's you. Um... 
Um, hello? Oh! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Uh, 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 Urgy? Udgy? The roads were packed. It's me. Long time no seen, Udgy. How you been? Swim much these days? Uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy? Busy schmizzy, Udgy, my boy. <laughs> you have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Udgy seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you're right. I'm very afraid. Sorry, but who are you? <laughs> I'm your Rido. What? Rido the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Oh, I, oh so you're Rido. Okay. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Thanks? So sorry about your little worthy, sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, huh? Oh god. I read worthy as a word instead of a name. You know, we shall all go sw we shall all go swimming together sometimes, Jolly. L little worthy? Mr. Wright? You don't know the district uh district chief of police? Chief Chief of Police. He's a top-ranking police officer in the entire district. Listen, man. Don't don't stare at me for like a good hour and then say something. Name is Grant. Damn it, Grant. Please. Uh, <laughs> pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, to what do we owe the honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, has it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's... My sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, this guy really was wearing that muffler. I just hit my microphone. But to think it was stuffed into the exhaust pipe. Oh, look at the worthy's car, no less. Oh, my bad. On. Little Worthy's car. Listen, man, you gotta stop doing this. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Okay. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth. How could this... Mi how could they miss so... Uh, how can they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, wait a minute, Worthy. I've no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. I'm, t I'm telling you to wait, or didn't you hear me? Huh? Have a look at this document, where it says, Person in Charge of Investigation. There's no mistaking that signature is there, Miles Edgeworth. That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I had... Ah, your head in a cloud because you got the award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll accept... I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clear up this mess that you made. <coughs> oh my god, I'm getting to that point in time where I talk too much. And my throat is killing me. <coughs> I gotta drink this water. <coughs> I'm dying. Fuck. Oh, man. Man, I'm dying here. All right, cool. <coughs> this is the first time I've seen Mr. Ashworth at a loss for words. This kind of major, kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, the court accepts this new evidence. But, I'd like to ask the defendants a favor first. Yes? Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at this, uh, blade of- I'd like to take a look at the blade of the knife. The blade, your honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think all I have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gravel no more. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at a person, at people no more. Come on, just hurry up and open it. All right, all right, damn it. I'm not controlling this, by the way. Oh, I'm gonna 
cut myself doing this shit. Oh man. I think you just you just pull this. Oh fuck! It's a broken knife. Don't scare me like that. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And the dark red stain. Blood. Found at the crime scene, wrapped in the defendant's muffler, small tag attached. This doesn't excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. Terribly sorry, but I could have asked you to testify for us. About the split between the prosecutor and the police and this knife. Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not, a, not even a little one, really. <coughs> My throat is fucking killing me. All right. This knife is special, but I can't say I can't say how here, unless there's evidence to prove a connection between the knife and Goodman. Oh no, there's definitely evidence. The tag is giving a bunch of shit away. <clears throat> that was a bad day for the apartment. We weren't in any shape to do any investigation. The detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. The time of death, 5.15. Scare coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't take- I can't talk much about it. <clears throat> How do you know the time of death was exactly 5.15? Is there new evidence? Are we updating a, Are we updating the autopsy? There, there. Uh, there. There was a murder at the police department. Detective. That's hush hush information, Uji. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait, a s wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Gumshoe was killed at the... Wait, 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 what? I wasn't really paying attention because my throat is killing me. But, are you saying another murder happened? Hold up. Hold up. Are you saying another murder happened? Or is this the same murder? Anyways, we at the department were all we're all a flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. Holy shit! Chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. I like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However. Keep your question forced on, uh, focus on the case. I will, I will, I will. I'll keep it focused on the case. Don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, I got this. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry, I got it. Life special. Okay. Hmm. Unless, uh... Unless there's evidence to... okay. Bad day for we weren't in any shape of investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. Let's see what a mess. Time of the crime, 515. Scary coincidence. Not officially linked to that here case, so I can't talk that much. Okay. It's not linked to this case, so you can't talk that much, so I'll keep that away. Right? Unless there's evidence. I, but I can't say how here. You can't say how. Is it, is it tied to the other case happening? Excuse me. Special? Hmm. Hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Hmm. Might the special thing be the little tag? Oh, sorry, Rido, but I can't say that now. Not that. We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, uh, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something, a muffler. Okay, I would assume that that other knife is probably, probably belonged to, uh, to Lana. That's probably how she cut herself. Uh, okay. 
This knife was found on the scene of the crime. I think it makes it connected to the case, don't you? I don't know why I'm yawning so much. See, there's a lot of things that go on in the department I can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Rido. Maybe there's something about the knife that that will give us a clue. Let's examine the knife while we can, Rido. Don't call me that. I mean, I'm kind of mad that she told me to examine the knife because I was I was going to do that next. But now I can't say that because it makes me look like I wasn't going to do it. I should try presenting the piece of evidence that had me stumped all the time. So, how are things down at the department? Sorry, let me actually get that out the way while we're here. SL92, the small tag in the knife, says SL92. What's that supposed to mean? Not sure, but it reminds me of similar code. DL6, maybe it's a case number? Uh, that's weird. What? I don't remember where, but I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what was written on the tag. It wasn't that long ago either. Yeah, I know. Isn't that the, uh... Isn't it his fucking, um... His... Whatchamacallit? Does he have something on it? On the back or something? Or was it just numbers? Okay, well that was no. It wasn't that. What what had SL92 on it? Huh. This is I'm looking at the thing wrong. I'm looking at this wrong. This is upside down. It's not 675. It's SL9. That's upside down. Unless there's evidence to connect this. I'm probably gonna get hurt for this or something, but... Yeah, it's upside down. Wait a second. Haha, <laughs> at last, an honest to good objection. This knife. This has to. Uh, this has to have something to do with the uh, detective Goodman. What do you mean? Ah, an honest to good. What do you mean from Udgy? This is great. Look at the tag on the knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm. What's this? 6 minus 7s, 1, 2, slash 2? No, 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 your honor. It's upside down. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around, and what do you get? Whoop. Ah. Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. That's so nice. That's the same thing that's written on the knife's tag. Order. Well, Chief? Ah, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. I win? <laughs> what game is this guy playing? The knife was evidence in the case it was stolen from the department. Okay. Alright. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. The knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. Tell me more about that. So this knife was stolen. Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say? Was it, in fact, a murder weapon? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So, this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. That was a bad day for the department. We're in any shape to do any investigation. Why was that? 
Something happened at the police department too, huh? Good luck, right on my boy, you're sharp. Is he just gonna talk about the murder that happened? Did I just like press him for no reason? No matter, I understand when you're busy with that Lana case and all. Well, what happened? Yeah, he's just gonna continue his testimony. Detective was killed at the police department. What a mess. On the same day that the detective was killed in prosecution parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising. It is, Aji. I'm at loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Oh, hold up.
All right, we are back. Let me just make sure everything is in running order. Testing, testing. There we go. All right. And let me see. All right, everything's working again. Cool. Sorry about that. Had a fucking surprise visitor. And instead of knocking on the door like a normal human being, they knocked at my window and the dogs went absolutely stupid. All right. <clears throat> Where the hell was I? Well, there was a suspect just arrested. Uh, just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested. That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Righto. I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case. <laughs> Good one. That kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Shit. Alright. Where the victim was found, how the victim was killed, when the victim died. Well, we already know when the victim died, how the victim was killed with that murder weapon, and where the victim was found, the police department. Um, <clears throat> at this point, I would say, tell me uh, where they were found. I want more details, like where in the police department. So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found, but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. That is all I wanted to know. The evidence room. Wait a second. I've heard of that. The evidence room? Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's a contradiction between the two cases. A uh, contradiction. The connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we can finally have some leverage. Now we can get Grant to testify about the details. It's not officially linked to this, so I can't talk much about it. Hey, yeah, Ken. You just fucking linked it, bitch. Chief, the defense position is simple. Uh, is simple. Uh, what? The defense's position is simply this: the connection between these two cases has already been proven. Heh, <laughs> You don't say. Well, out with it, Rido. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, right? The connection is placed mentioned in the testimony we just heard. That I found that a lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had had on him the case number on the night's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in the very same evidence room. Indeed. There do seem to be many connections for it to be a coincidence. Listen, I'm gonna go do my taxes if you keep staring at me for like an hour. You two make a good pair. It took two it took my men two days to find out what you deduced right here. Chief, I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can you get the information unofficially? Mmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What? Really? Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? Alright. So well then, cooperate, tell me. Go ahead, tell me what you can. If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? <laughs> well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. Victim's division, the victim's ID number, the victim's gender. Hmm. Tell me... Gender I don't think is too important. These are really important, though. 
Tell me their division. Okay. What division was the victim stationed in? Oh, you want to know? You want to know that, do you? Do you? <laughs> Criminal Affairs Division One, the detective responsible for homicide cases. Homicide. That would be the same division as Detective Gumshoe. Detective Goodman, who was killed in an underground parking lot, was homicide too. It's almost like a serial killer was after homicide detectives. Except the serial killer happened simultaneously, specifically speaking. Uh, specifically? Scientifically speaking. Well, I sure hope Detective Gumshoe isn't next on the list. That was literally my next thought. He should leave. If, De if Gumshoe's not on the list, then Marshall is. Oh my god, what if Marshall and Angel are working together? Two detectives were killed at 5.15 on the... On, one at the prosecutor's office, and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. And that knife... What was it doing there? Better check this knife out. I mean, I... I, did, I, I thought I did check it out. I mean, I guess I can look at it more. I mean, it has blood on the tip. It's old blood, right? Blood's pretty old. Right? Can I investigate that? I already investigated this, and nothing, nothing else on the knife. Just old blood. Some old blood. Found that the crime scene wrapped in the defendant's muffler. Small tag attached to it. That was evidence stolen from the room. Evidence room. Press on that one. So this knife was stolen. Yes, on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say? Was it, in fact, a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, Little Worthy. It was a murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So the knife was stolen on the day of the murder. Found an exhaust pipe at Edward's car. I think there isn't a connection there. It's a bad day. Okay, so... The detective killed... See what a mess. Time the crime. Scary coincidence, huh? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal. Alright, well, tell me. I guess I'll just keep pressing this until he can tell me more. Alright? Tell me their ID number. Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm, sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name after all. We'll keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. This number is... 5842189. Well, that's quite long. Sorry, I wish I wish I had it in front of me again so I can look it up. 5842189. What? I'm sorry, say that. Do they have the same ID number? Okay. We have to remember. It just drives me nuts. 8 2, I can't. Okay. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? ID number of the victim at the police department. Yeah. That's the exact same number that I'm looking at right now. 5842. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? It means someone, e either someone's an identity thief. Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. Say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department. It tells you something. What does it tell you? Tells me this. See this shit? Witness. What is this, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. Hey, don't don't do that. Don't that's the cough up queen. That's not me. No, I uh, just I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Just come out with both guns blazing, like you always do. The police department prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at once. But they were the same person. 
Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh ho, is that yours? No, your honor, I'm a defense attorney. Do you want to see my badge again? I'll show it to you. I have yet to show anyone my badge this, this time around. I'm itching to do it. This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rido. Personal IDs are Tom Seeker. He's dead. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. Guys, not that hard. Yeah, I know, you because you forgot the other number already. It's the exact same number, jackasses. That's the ID number we heard from the chief earlier. Started with the uh, 82? I forgot. You didn't even get the first number right. Again. The number of the chief of police given to us was 5842189. I had a moment too, just, just now. Wait a second, right? What is this? What does it mean? It means someone's going around with a twin. Or they're clones. Or it's like a time warp. I mean, that's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? Oh, oh, oh sharp as a tack, right? Oh, sharp as a tack. But wait, Detective Goodman's our victim. He was killed at 5:15 in the parking uh, in the fucking parking lot. Yet, a Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department in the evidence room at the exact same time. That's impossible. So, what you're saying is, the same person was killed at the same time and in completely two different locations? No, I'm not saying it as worth, I'm fucking preaching it. No. What I want to know is, why did I, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine. But I am prosecutor in charge of this case. Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No, no need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department had made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. <laughs> or didn't you hear me? The oversight, the grave error... Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? How dare you? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the news. Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright, where have I heard that name before? Wait, ah, uh, it's that loser. Um. Excuse me. But is Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with Lana Sky's incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the, right on top of the report. Uh, why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if the officer was capable of making the connection. He didn't seem he did seem challenged. In in any case, this is a serious error, a gross negligence of duty on your part, worthy. But sir, you could have submitted the report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... This guy has that, like, that fucking... Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That pose right there. He has this fucking, like... Like, uh... What, what's his name? Why can't I... Why can't I remember the guy from Street Fighter? Fuck. The main evil guy from Street Fighter runs the fucking... The Shadow Loop. Fucking, uh, the Psycho Crushers. Why can't I remember his name? It's giving me that vibe right now. It's giving me that vibe and, like, Geese Howard vibes. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to take a drink of my water. My throat is dying. Alright. 
let's see. Uh, no such luck this time, worthy. Or should I say, unworthy. What? Now, wh now what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, oh, well, it's some... Um, rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on the list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until uh, a connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by Rido over there. Good job, Rido, my boy. Uh, um, I... I was just doing my job. No. No! Yeah, that's right, I did it. You can't stop me. It seems we have come to an end this, of this trial. I know we're going through a tough time, worthy with all those rumors. You were even in the defendant's chair just the past December. I apologize for this trip, for this terrible lack of due to diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, but that's the last thing I do. You better get results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been any error this serious in the history of this court. Excuse me? It, are we not paying attention to the fucking case that we that we just did with Edgeworth? Like beforehand? Are you kidding me? That's a way grave error. That's like that's been going on for six years. I'll grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Well, uh, will that be sufficient, Mr. Edward? I am yawning. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. What the hell is that noise? Oh, that's my dog. It's making noises in his sleep. Whatever your punishment for this, for your sake, I hope it's not... Wait, what? Whatever your punishment for this, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well, court is adjourned. Ugh. God. Uh, <laughs> you're killing me here. All right. Damn it. Woo! Court is adjourned, bitches. I did it. February 23rd, 2.15 p.m. Wright and Co. Law Office. Um, uh, Mr. Wright? So, what's going on with the case anyways? I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecution's uh, parking lot in the police department's evidence room. Was this... and the evidence room? <laughs> was this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor offices and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well... That's what we're going to find out, or try at least. Alright, let's do it. Well, she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that, uh, I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. Alright. February 23rd, Prosecutor's Office, Underground Parking Lot. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No big. Wait, what? Yeah, no biggie. <laughs> Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. The oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. My sister erasing evidence at the scene of the crime? Never. Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. 
big words for a high school student. Well, whatever there was blood on the floor or not. Whatever. Uh, whether there was blood on the floor or not. Uh, the water and the oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing, and that's liminal test fluid. What? L lum lum luminal? I, I, don't, I don't even know what the fuck that word is. Blood is sticky stuff, you see. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Then get a fucking UV light. But when the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's- never trust everyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Well, that is true. Let's just give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood- we're testing blood stains with this stuff and not drinking it. Hey, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? Oh god. To test for a blood reaction, just spray the... Spray, you know, spray the shit. Like this, you see? Just spray it. Press X to spray it. Okay. Let's find us some blood stains. Alright. Spurts. 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 Damn right, I'll examine that. Oh god. Seizure warning, for fuck's sake. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So, this is a blood stain. Huh. It's so, uh... Emma, you're shaking. This just... This is my first time seeing real blood. Really? Scientific investigation in action? Okay, well, we definitely know this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Specifically speaking, of course. Scientifically speaking, of course. Uh, that it's not, like, all over the place? There's only, like, a little bit? What's odd about it, scientifically? The amount. Uh, perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Do you think there'd be a little bit more blood? I definitely think so. I mean, look at the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It's pretty strange. If they fought here, they have to been in more. There have been more blood than this. Hey, Mr. Wright, I'm gonna mark up the floor plans when we found blood stain. Okay? See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy too. I save up my allowance to buy that. Okay. We can't be sure that the police would reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit their view in the case. Then let's drag that hidden evidence to the light into the light of day. Yeah. Feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? Guess I should give this spray on any uh guess I should give this spray on anything suspicious. Ha! Huh. Oh my god, can you fucking go somewhere? I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star. You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you too. This day-old deli box is on the house. Day-old's not bad, but it's like, it's raw sushi, so... It's probably, it's probably terrible. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead, uh, lead-in doesn't really get my mouth watering. Hey, ma'am. I'm not sure if you noticed this, right? But I need you to look at this, it's very important. It's very important. Right? It's very, it's very important. It's very important. You gotta look at this. I meant for her to look at it, not me, damn it. How the fuck do I present this to her? There you go. It looks like a petrified piece of provolone. Huh? It's not. It's my attorney's badge. I think a petrified piece of provolone would fetch more of oh, on the open market. Look, my badge is not for sale. Not yet, at least. All right. Sorry, I'm scratching my head. All right, let's see. Today's trial. Yeah, that's me yawning again. <clears throat> Certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Stars, but no, no, it's okay. It's my own fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from the security room right there. 
But I was afraid that wouldn't come, that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see? I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if this place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. I swear it on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Alright. So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hardened the criminal, when they faced me, they coughed it up. That that's not a good that's not a that's not a good line. Coughed it up. They've confessed. They babble like babies. You know. I I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I would doubt it. Every day I drag the dirt out of the mouths of the suspects after suspects. And before long, they call me... The Cough Up Queen. Don't... Mm, mm, that is a... Uh, that is not a good name. Oh, and I hear I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go? Uh, fired? I felt that I had my... F I, I felt that I found my dream job when I became an investigator. This perm and, eh, and if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let go and let me go, I'd still be one today. <coughs> I'm dying here. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... Tell me more about that. That's it? Hmm. That's about a, uh, that's about as red as a sports car can get. Yep, it's pretty red, all right. But it was found in Edward's trunk, the location the trunk was broken too. Huh. So, what model car is it? I don't fucking know. I think it's called a sedan or a, or a coupe or something. I don't know. Those are not car types, Mr. Wright. They're not models. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know these things. I don't know these things. Maybe it's about time I got my driver's license. Hmm. Maybe it is. B blocks through here. Now it's visitor park. So, Miss Star climbed over this fence. It seems so. The fence is nine feet high, at least. Well, no time like the present, I think. I'll give it a try. You okay, Emma? It's okay, don't cry. Maybe there's a launch land Olympics team. Maybe there's a launch land Olympics team. Uh, all right. Excuse me, ma'am. I want to look past you. Here's a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears. No, my ears. Maybe it's due to the uh to the biometric pre pressure. Biometric. Barometric, barometric, whatever. Hey! What did you just say? See? You can hear just fine. The phone's broken. Idiot. How do I use the, uh, the spray? Do I just, like, take it? Oh. Okay, there's blood there. There's definitely, there's definitely blood there. How do I, how do I hone in onto the blood? What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Spray. How do I... How do I examine it? Make sure there's no blood on the... On the fence or... 
blood here. How the fuck do I... There we go. It does it automatically. Blood must be from when Lana... No, my sister isn't the murderer. But she did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime? And her, and her right hand is bandaged. Hey, whose side are you on? So it has nothing to do with taking sides. So this means that Lana hand have blood on it. Oh my god, I'm just yawning uncontrollably for some reason. This just keeps getting worse. Yeah. Check the oil drum. Should check the oil drum. If I can get a fucking clear spray on it. I want to check the oil drum. Doesn't seem like anything. I'm trying to see if there's like any hidden spot where it's like, hmm, why the hell would blood be over here, right? You know, maybe none on the ladder, none on the grate. These are oil drums, but there's nothing here for me. Alright, well that's it for blood. Okay. Well, uh... I think we had our fill. Actually, don't. Before we leave, let's just check the door. Look, a door. It must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open. A mysterious lock. I feel to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, we need to learn to enjoy life a little. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Okay, cool. That's why I wanted to... I wanted to check. <clears throat> That's exactly... What I wanted to do. Alright. Uh... Let us head to the... It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense a detective did get killed here after all. So, the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk, here it is. She's like a kid at the amusement park. Oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's... Well, let's do that. Guard station. I would like to see that. Oh, wow. Look, the guard station is surrounded by cowboy shit. I wonder who's here. <clears throat> Alright. What's with the decor in this place? It's very centric. According to the plan fit, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond the door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime. It sure seems that way. Oh. What's wrong? Are those cacti? They're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert? <laughs> what the hell? What? I want to know, uh, what I want to know is, if this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he's, he is already. I mean, let's be honest. There's a trap here. Look on the floor, a lasso. Hmm, looks like it's set up to trap something. A trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> I got confused. Because, like, nothing changed but, like, one line. But the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. Whiskey. You drinking on the job? Jax, you sure are prickly. It must be the real deal. I was like in the middle of yawning. I keep yawning uncontrollably for some reason. I'm not even tired. I would think just one thing, one would be sufficient. Wait, what? I, did I read that wrong? I definitely read that wrong. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. How so? 
Encased in a cold, rigid shell, with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Okay. Ponchos. Security guard uniform hanging here. It looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, and a leather... What are these called again? A punchy? A, a punchy? A pinchy? Oh, I know, a poochie. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho. But I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. Alright. It's a cactus and some shit. It's a computer. It's on this computer. Looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check who went who went in there. I mean, let's see. Why don't why don't we check? Evidence room is beyond this door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it would open? You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Alright. Just wanna just wanna make sure. Alright, I think I think we're I think I think we're good right now. It's a criminal affairs. Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder at the police department down at... Oh, wait, what? Of the uh, of a detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the... Per, per, uh, ba, 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 ba. In the... Per, per, why can't I say the word no more? God damn it. Prosecutor, thank you. In the prosecutor's lot. <laughs> it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't mess up, or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries I want, want more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's true. I guess I'll head to the detention center. Looks like Miss Skye is in questioning. I hope the detectives aren't yelling at her. How'd you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How's she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Grant say they arrested a suspect in a police department murder? Let's come back later. Hmm, suspect. He's like, bro, it wasn't me, I swear. I was in electrical. <laughs> I was in electrical. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, these are really our options? Can I not head to like the... Alright, well, whatever. High Prosecution Office. Let's go there. Well, this place is all classy today, as it was yesterday. And I'm sure it'll still be as classy tomorrow. Incidentally, that's where it's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigation shit. I hope that's the case. I guess we'll just have to come back. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna look at his shit. He won such a prestigious award. Why would he just leave it on the couch? Hey, you think he wants to show this thing off more than a, than, than a giant steel samurai? Then again, Edgeworth has always been like that. Really? Hey, I should write this down. Tell me what he was like as a kid. Back in elementary school, he won awards for all kinds of things. Beach contests, essays, playing the flute, golf tournaments. That doesn't exactly sound like typical elementary school stuff. But he always hated receiving awards. He made some smart remarks like... I know the path I walked. Now one, no one else needs to tell me. That's how he's always been. Kind of gets under your skin, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... One of these days, I will hop over my fucking defense attorney's uh, fucking table and I will punch him in the mouth. 
cave his fucking teeth in. Alright. I don't think there's anything to present to her. You know? Check out this murder weapon. Um, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident is written on the knife. On the note, Goodman, Goodman was the head detective of the case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence from the case, the murder weapon. It was due to, it was due for transferal the very day the good man was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over, not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Oh, that'd be nice. Damn it! How do I get her to talk? Line in. Okay, same thing. That's the same thing. Alright. How do I get her to tell me more about us online? I had one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the conflict queen, right? Found this ID card here in the parking lot. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. But, it's the same idea as the man who was killed in the police department? That's impossible. Alright, well, I am... I about here if she has nothing else for me. Oh shit, you know what? You know what I completely forgot? Hold up. Hold on. Completely forgot about it. Wasn't even thinking. Wasn't even thinking. My brain is like turning to mush slowly. Alright. Okay. Check this out. Check it out. Right? And then we start spraying. What the hell? What's this? Wow, we got a reaction. Hmm. There's clearly blood around the spines here. The room's pretty messy. Someone must have tripped over something. They planted their head right in the spines. Their head? Did it say head or hands? Ugh. I think this might be more painful than being murdered. Well, that's important. Nothing on the on the glass. Well, I came and got what I wanted to see, right? I wanted to see if something was in here. All right. That's interesting. The mascot had like a handprint on it, so I was just, you know, checking it out. Making sure. Making sure we're all we're all good. Now what the hell would I examine here? Companies follow each one, finding they're a little t uh, they're a little tidier than I expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desk. Okay. That must be the chief of detectives. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Detectives killed in the evidence room? Tell no one outside the police department. I told that I told that old lady that at the restaurant everything. Someone's getting a demotion. Oh shit. Come on, guy. Really? I told the lady at the old restaurant everything. Melvin about something to himself. I know, the killer used dry ice. He put it between the latch and the door. The room could be sealed shut. 
This is good. I'll win a writer's reward for sure. He's not writing a report, he's writing a novel. What a jackass. What a fucking loser. Okay, guess I'll head back to the... Never mind, I won't, I won't head back to the, the detention center. I, I thought... Let's talk it out with you. What to do? Well, who should we begin? Well, obviously, we should begin with, you know, the thing. Mysterious victim, I, the mysterious, uh, mystery of the victim, I guess. The one man, Detective Goodman. Killed in two places simultaneously. Okay. Yeah, I thought she would give me some sort of idea. Apparently not. So I think... What I can do... Oh, God. Jeez, I'm gonna head back to the guard station because I technically didn't check everything. Still gotta check this. Swinging door makes this place look some kind of, look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. Can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch. Okay. See, I thought I thought the guy would come out and talk to me now, since I checked everything in the room. But I but I guess not. I, I, I guess not. Guess I'll just be a, a be a loser forever. There's got to be something here that I missed. Went to the oil drum just to see what was up, but like nothing different. Okay. Hmm. Guys, worth you, sir. You ain't got no blood in here, not even a little bit. Are you a fucking? Are you a fucking vampire? God. All right. Shit. I tried to get her to talk about the, uh, the thing. Just take a look at this. You. Yes. Oh, well, she's not gonna look at that. Alright, well, damn. Alright. So, let me see. I've been running for about, like, three and a half hours now. Oh my god, this way longer than I thought it would be. Honestly, I was not ready for this. <laughs> I definitely was not ready for this. Fuck. Um, shit. Shit. All right. What am I? So that's where Miss Star saw the incident from. You probably see quite a lot from up there. Probably means she wasn't lying about when she said she saw a guy stab him. Where's security guard? Uh, where's the security guard anyways? Well, it's just something that was hard. I guess apparently he went outside to buy coffee from his star. The woman is forced to be reckoned with. Alright, well, just making sure. Just making sure. Just checking all my bases, you know what I mean? She won't tell me anything for some reason.
she doesn't want to. She don't want to talk about that. I guess that's all I'm gonna get out of her, huh? All right. Well, moving on. I guess I'll head back to the center. Oops! Didn't mean to do that. No, no one's bleeding in here. No one's bleeding on the walls. You, you bleeding? All right. Well. Hmm. It's worth the shot. How have I not ran into fucking the marshal yet? There's something else in here I gotta check. Hmm. Nothing there. Alright, well, shit. <clears throat> Damn. I'm really... I'm really stuck here. Blue Batch is still... Still wiggling around. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing... The whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries? I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. Ooh. Ooh, I, I guess. Sure. Yeah, if you want. I'm just... Like, there's a handprint on his fucking face. I'm just trying to find out what's what, you know? Signs a little change from the one outside. And da da. Absolutely. It's cutting edge stuff. Very now. Show this doll here to my uh show this doll here to my daughter and she burst into tears. Okay. Shit. Shit, I am I am I am lost here. Sir. One murder prosecutor's office, police department. You must be frozen with fear. Don't scare the poor guy. All right, fucking. All right, all right. Calm down. Calm down. I won't scare him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to frighten him. Any ideas? Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What about Mr. Edgeworth? Fuck him. I know you're going through a tough time, worthy. It's all those rumors. Oh yeah, yeah those. Shit. There was that business with him not not reading the officer's report and about the killing of the police department, right? All right. Chief Police was right about that, but I can't help but think someone at the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. Yeah, that's pretty true. Must have not presented something to her. This murder weapon? A body with Edgeworth's knife stuck in it. Found Edgeworth's car. Think he owes me his gratitude. Gratitude? Well, if I had a witness to crime, Mr. Edgeworth would have been a suspect. I wonder. Still strange. Why didn't our chief prosecutor have her own murder weapon ready? Her own, her own murderer? Her own murder weapon ready. Weddy. Yeah, that's right, I said it. I said it that way, what the hell? 
Huh. Oh, she don't want to look at the shoe. She's the one who gave it to me. What a bitch. What the hell are you doing? What was going on here? Work desk. Quite tidy. It's a nice desk. Easy to use. Easy on the eyes. It's polished so high I can see my reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? I'm gonna take that name plaque as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. Don't do it. He will sue you. That I promise. Huh. I'm really surprised that I'm just... Did I not examine the, uh... So this is the famous oil drum. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to kick it. Yeah! That's okay, don't cry. Lana must be one strong woman. Man, you just, you just, you're just a weakling. So this is the famous divider. Sure helped us knock a hole in the testimony. Come to think of this, uh, come to think of this, Divider helping our case more than the actual witness. The Great Divider, a chip of the old parking block. Uh, it's just a wall, scientifically speaking. Scientifically speaking, I can't even speak, god damn it. My, my brain juices are starting to run low. This rope, is it? Yep. Uh, they lay it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait, the victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You gotta be the only one, the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. I guess, right? Hmm. The fence checked it. Cars checked. Huh. All right. Well. Here's the plan for now, right? <clears throat> I've been doing this for like about four hours, and I, I think now would be a good time to stop it here, um, to just stop the stream here. I planned on doing like a, a lot more, but since I got kind of a late start on this stream, Sadly, I don't I don't have enough time to do as much as I want. So tomorrow, for uh, next day in the in the afternoon, around around like twelve, that's when the real long stream is gonna start. So this is the preamble. Uh, tomorrow definitely gonna be doing more Phoenix Wright and um and gonna try Phoenix Phoenix Wright. Move on to. To uh, finish Arkham City, Parasite Eve, and Folklore if possible. And then after that, uh, that'll probably end that stream and then we'll go on from there. So, right now, people on the stream, I want to thank you all for coming along, watching, tagging along. It's great. Thanks for the support. People on YouTube, you know the spiel, right? Like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, whatever. Uh,. Also, I, I'm currently putting up a playthrough of Miles Morales, Spider-Man Miles Morales, if you want to see that, both on PS4 Pro and PS5. Um, so if you want to see that, that's on the channel now. Cool, right? Anything else you need to know in the description or the community tab on the channel. And my brain is slowly running out of power right now. Like, I can feel it. I can actually really feel it. So... <laughs> So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.